Hey Vinyl community, it's Craig Vinyl again um, with a, another crate digging video. As some of you may remember, I was in um, traveling interstate uh, this week, just past. It's now Saturday here in Queensland. And um, during a couple of my lunch breaks and after day, I went uh, crate digging at uh, thrift shops. Uh, I probably went to about six or seven different thrift shops. Uh, most of them not so good. Uh, a couple you'll probably see see through the video that there were some ones there you'd think I should take, but when I checked them later, they either had too many scratches or damage or just went up to scratch. So, um, all right, enjoy this video, and when I when we come back, I'll just show you the few that I got. Cheers.
All right, so um, thanks for watching that. And I picked up about one, two, three, five albums all up uh, that I got. So look, overall, doing this crate digging is just so. I just find it so much fun um, just to go through go through those crates and just thinking that you know, hopefully you are going to find one, maybe two if you're really lucky, in a big stack that you can take home. So. Um, it's always really very thrilling when you do find that oh, one or two. So the first one, this one, I'd say most of us have this. I've actually got a couple of copies, but this is a better copy. Elton John's Greatest Hits, 1974. And I um, don't know if it's picking up on here, but um, it's a beautiful copy. And I don't know why, but people still put the stickers onto the album covers. I mean, really... Putting price stickers, please, store owners out there, if you're watching, please don't put price stickers on, on the actual covers. Make a note somewhere nearby, put it on a plastic sleeve, but not on the actual album. But anyway, there you go. Next one, uh, Leo Kotke Burnt Lips. I first came across this guy probably about when I was about 18, 19, 20 or so, and I uh, heard him playing acoustic. Look at the back of this album, I just love that back cover. Just raw and real. And um, from memory, I mean, I picked this up because of what I remember him to be, but I'm pretty sure he was a uh, plays acoustic, uh, a beautiful acoustic player. So this is a 1978 album. This one's called, yeah, as I said, Burnt Lips. Haven't heard it yet, so I'm expecting real big things from this. Next one. This is about 1988, it is, from memory, and it is Tony Child's Union. It's two o'clock. Um, and her biggest song in Australia was Stop Your Fuss and, and also Don't Walk Away. Just a really interesting singer, really interesting voice. Um, worth, worth checking out if you have it. And this album's in great condition. I got that for one dollar. Two more. You've heard me mention her before, but Ella Fitzgerald, Lullaby of Birdland. Again, they've put the sticker. Here it is. Um, going by the front cover, you know, this is not one of her original type. I'm not sure what year this is. I haven't actually worked it out, but looking at it, I mean, I'm really keen to get some early Ella Fitzgerald, particularly from recording on Muscle Shores uh, with phenomenal band members, songs like Tell Mama and that type of thing. I'm really hunting that kind of stuff down if I come across it. Lastly, really cool to get this. Uh, awesome condition is Ricky Lee Jones. Is that self-titled? Yes, it is. And uh, this one has Chuck E's In Love. So this one, I'll have to check. I had a feeling it was in um, the Rolling Stones' top 100 albums of all time. I'm not sure. But it uh, looks like she's having a good time. Looks like she's smoking a joint there. But um, that's pretty cool. Um, and it's on the uh, Warner Brothers. So I'm not sure if that's a repressing or what year it is. 1979, so maybe it is. It's in, it may be a reissue. I'd have to, I'd have to check, check on that one. So there you go. That's what I found. Um, so lots of time in crate digging and driving from place to place, but we all do it out of love, don't we? And it's just fantastic to pick up a handful that I brought back from interstate. So um, thanks, guys. I appreciate your comments on any of these records or ones that you saw me flicking through that you think maybe I should have picked up. Um, I do like when people mention that I would have picked this up and just gives me a bit more interest and knowledge to see what else I could possibly pick up next time. So... Have fun. I've got a couple more vinyl fine records to record soon, so that'll be coming out shortly. There's so much <laughs> vinyl to talk about. So cheers out, everyone. Good night.